The Nigeria Labour Congress NLC and the Trade Union Congress TUC are demanding the probe and removal of the Commissioner of Police at the Imo State Command, Ahmed Bade, for aiding and abetting the brutality and alleged abduction of the Nigeria Labour Congress President Joe Ajairo. Ajairo is alleged to have been blindfolded and beaten to a pulp by the police personnel on the order of the state governor during a proposed peaceful protest in Oweri. At a press briefing on Friday in Abu the NLC and TUC made a six-point demand and further resolved that beginning from Wednesday, November 8, 2023, industrial peace in Nigeria will no longer be guaranteed if the demands are in complied with. They also added that a joint National Executive Council neck meeting of the two labor centers will meet to decide on the next course of action. I worry that it has come criminal for workers in Nigeria to gather for a peaceful protest when Section 40 of the Nigeria Constitution and the International Confession, like the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, the African Chapter on Human and People's Rights, including High Low Convention 87 and 98, guarantees the right to freedom of association and the right of to bargaining collectively. It is more absurd that these infractions will even happen at all and still continue to happen, especially when Nigeria sits at the chairman of the governing board of the ILO. Accordingly, about the disorienting head continent of Comrade Joe Adero, our leader, outraged by the bestial treatment method on him, to workers including Adero and journalists by the police and the Nemo state government. We further resolve that in the events the government failed to comply with any or all the conditions above stated, NLC, TUC, and their affiliates will no longer guarantee industrial peace and harmony in Nigeria beginning Wednesday, 8th of November 2023, while a joint National Executive Council next meeting of the two labor centers will meet to decide the next course of action. We find it appropriate to let Nigerians know the sequence of events that leads to uh, going to Imo State for peaceful protest, but which was aborted by police and hoodlum recruited by the state governor. 